think the end of the world is coming? Well, this is Big Zarp here of the Shadow Assassins. I'm going to show you how I built a grenade, a paintball grenade fill station. If you look at the internet, there's a, uh, you know, everybody shows you little bits of everything, but nobody really shows you how it was all done. So I'm going to show you how I assembled this. I would not suggest assembling this at home. It's going to contain a lot of high pressure parts. Um, things that may explode on you if you don't do things correctly. So if you're not a, uh, a experienced with the uh, compression or piping, I would suggest not doing this. This is uh, you know just simply showing you how I made it. So uh, I got here a two foot um, PVC pipe made for pressure. There's two types of pipe out there. One that you know says right on the side, not for pressure. Um, I got some three inch caps, uh, three inch threaded uh, adapter here, a cap, a couple uh, quarter inch black steel fittings here, nipples they call them, uh, four inches long, got 90 degree uh, black pipe here, I also got some brass fittings, I decided to make this thing out of a combo of brass and black steel just for expense, got about uh, probably about $40 worth of product here, uh, we got a quick release valve, a, uh, quarter inch brass adapter. We also have a ball valve here. Um, a 2x4. We also got a uh, plywood, 3 quarter inch plywood base. We got some uh, hose clamps. So I'm going to go assemble the first part and uh, show it and uh, explain to you what I did. Okay, so here I assembled everything. I got a uh, Teflon tape on the joints of everything here. Uh, everything is twisted on pretty hard, pretty tight. What I did here was I took the three inch cap, drilled a half inch hole. I put the um, 90 degree piece of tubing here with the coupling and going through there is a piece of threaded brass and then another uh, adapter there so everything is locked and uh, locked together with hardware I put a little hot glue around there just to really create the seal um, again I use Teflon tape on the inside of that also what I did here on this length of pipe is I drilled a half inch hole here I uh, again took the brass fitting on the inside put it together with this uh, quick connect for the compressor so we can get some air pumping in there that'll be the inlet okay so at this point I've attached with primer and PVC cement the cap on the uh, two foot piece of length I also added this uh, threaded adapter so what we can do here is we can uh, fill this tube up with the paint fill and put the uh, plug on the end of it and then pressurize it and then we're going to be filling paint grenades um, what I did here was I took this pipe clamp opened it up I attached it to a 2x4 just with a screw right through the middle one thing you do not want to do is try and drill this uh, it'll catch on your drill it'll spin like a helicopter and uh, on the best it'll just cut you worst case it'll uh, probably rip a couple fingers off what I did was I just took a pair of snips here just snipped out a couple teeth enough to get a wood screw through I already screwed that one together I'll throw this one right around here screw this one together here I'm also going to take the 2x4 here I'll screw this up on the pl platform and we'll have a uh, base to hold this thing up and hold it sturdy while we do all the filling So there it is, all mounted up, 2x4, attached to the uh, 3 quarter plywood, the nozzle. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to fill this up with water. I measured this uh, beforehand, 
the uh, two feet of three inch pipe should hold about three quarters of a gallon right now I'm just going to use some water um, just to test everything make sure everything's fine before I go making a mess with the uh, paint um, Yeah, put the lid on. One thing you do not want to do is, uh, you know, hook up your ear from the compressor onto this thing until it's all hooked up because there's no uh, backstop, so air yeah, will leak out everywhere. I did, uh, before I put the water in there, I did test it with just straight air. There were a couple of leaks, but nothing that I think is going to be major. I'm going to go through and fix them afterwards. One thing you do want to do is, uh, when you're filling the surgical tubing, which is what we're going to be using for the paint grenades, um, they only need like 20 PSI. Um, depending on the thickness, depending on what tube you get, what tube you use, um, wall thickness, I mean, I think the max is 30 PSI. Right now, I got my uh, compressor set at 25 output. You, you don't want to pressurize this thing too much. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to gas this up. We have a little leak, mainly from the cap. Let's see if I can set this camera down here for a moment. Open the valve. And there we go. Good, uh, good amount of leaks. We got the paint grenade. I do have some leaks in uh, some other spots here dripping out, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to fix those. But that's the gist of it. I'm going to basically take this paint grenade, tie it off. I'll show you uh, next week how to make a good grenade, uh, I'll tie it off, and also to come up is going to be a uh, paint landmine, but uh, again, I wouldn't suggest anybody build this, um, you know, there's great risk of injury, great risk of not doing the right thing, um, as you can see I got a lot of leaks, I don't want to see anybody get hurt, I'm just showing you my build, how I figured out how to uh, fill my own paint grenades up. As of now, again, Big Zerp with Shadow Assassins. I'm out.